hope it's down there. I hope it's not up here. My nose is big enough. Uh, this is my uh, my first time on stage doing stand up, so. Uh, yeah. Um, make matters worse, like, worse, I've go on after her, uh, go around the for Clara. That's like the number one rule in whatever, showbiz, I think. Don't go on after the headlines. Um, it's like, it's like if you went to bed with someone, went, like, went to bed with a porn star the night before, huh? you don't want to do it. Uh, alright, so, <laughs> Talking about the uh, about human relationships, right? Um, I don't know about you, but most of my human relationships are are through social networking now. I don't know about you, probably, probably. Um, yeah. It got to a point though, got to an addiction. You know, Facebook. You know, I spend way too much time. I don't know about you guys, but it's such an easy way to waste time these days. And uh, I decided to go cold turkey the other day. Cold turkey Facebook. It's kind of hard to quit though. You have to kind of search the whole entire website, it seems, to, to like find out how to, how to exit. And who, how many of you uh, on, uh, in the audience are on Facebook? Yeah! Okay, pretty much everybody. Uh, how many of you have tried to quit Facebook? Like leave the website? No? One? Yeah? yeah? And did it work? No, it didn't work, yeah? Okay. Well, how they, how they have you do this is they, they want to know why you're leaving, right? So you get this, this list of, of uh, reasons and uh, something like uh, if uh, you're spending too much time on Facebook, uh, you can stop the email notifications. They actually give you a solution right after. So if you have, uh, so yeah, if you're spending too much time on it, if you're worried about privacy settings, you know, oh, well, you know, we can change the privacy settings whenever you want. No problem. Uh, another one is uh, if you don't have any friends, if you don't have any friends on Facebook, they have these, these uh, Facebook friend banks, they call them. Friend banks, and it's basically these people who will uh, be your friend uh, free of maintenance. And uh, you can add them as a friend, no problem. They'll just get your friend uh, number up for you real fast. And uh, the fourth one, my favorite, is, is because you're, are you being sued? For Facebook stalking, well, they don't have a solution for that. But uh, it's funny about stalking. Uh, it's kind of it's illegal, right? But it's legal on the internet. That's kind of weird. All right, and uh, so yeah, Facebook is kind of you know I'm past that. I'm past Facebook. But so I was looking for something more meaningful, you know, relationship more meaningful. So I joined uh, eHarmony.ca. You guys heard of that? Yeah? <laughs> so, uh, you see these ads and it's like, what, Rob and Carol were matched on October 8th, married November 5th, something like that. And what their big, uh, their big lure on this is that they make you do this uh, personality test. And it's like 200 pages long, all right? And uh, so I said, you know, why not? Tried it and uh, it's really in depth. You know, it's really in depth. These, uh, these questions, it's like, uh, you have a short temper, are you religious, um, you know, uh, on your spaghetti, do you like tomato sauce or meat sauce? Do you, uh, you know, Pepsi or Coke, you know, because you really don't want to be with someone who likes Pepsi if you like Coke, because restaurants only have one of them. You know, they either have Coke, they either have Pepsi, and, you know, that's just a hassle, I don't all right, so uh, <laughs> so basically, I do this. It takes me about 12 hours straight, and so I finish this up. I think around four o'clock in the morning, some you know, some lonely night, all right. And uh, so I found, I'm waiting for the results. They're supposed to match me, and uh, the page comes up. I'm not compatible with anybody, <laughs> anybody within a bummer radius of where I live. So, I mean, I'm not compatible with any, 30 kilometers, you know how many people are on the internet in the 30 kilometer radius of that? I mean, that's kind of depressing. I mean, 
I got a phone number now. I don't, I, I don't use the phone anymore. I just email everybody. I got a phone where I joined the Amish community or something. <laughs> so, but you know, I mean, ladies, if you're not on the internet, how am I supposed to connect with you, you know? How am I supposed to, you know, if me and my friends can't gather, gather together one lonely drunken night around my computer and leave through your photo album and judge you, I, you know, I can't commit. I can't commit that type of relationship, right? So, uh, yeah, and a final thought, I mean, ladies, you're complex, it's no secret. And uh, have you seen this new Olay ad? I mean, signs of aging. For women, just a woman's face. Seven. Seven signs of aging. And I mean, how many, I mean, well, you got the crow's feet, all right? You got the lines of the forehead. I mean, I don't know where the others are, but for a woman's face, seven signs of aging. You know how many signs of aging men have? Probably two, all right? And the thing is, you only have to cure one at a time. All right, what are our signs of aging? You know, here, here, and here, right? <laughs> and the thing is, if us men, if we're bald, and if we're single, if we're in the dating scene, you only need Rogaine, all right? And if you're, if you're bald and in a couple, then you need Viagra. That's this kid. All right, thanks guys. Thomas, please give it up to Thomas Angeliti.